What if life is in service to your awakening and conspiring to give you a good life? Good life. What if the universe was trying really hard to give you a good life? Good life. Good life. Good life. Did you know that's actually what's happening? It's happening. It's happening. It is. It's a friendly universe. It really is a friendly universe. Friendly universe. And you don't have to be afraid. It's not like there's someone out to get you or God is out to get you or reality is out to get you. No one's out to get you. It doesn't want to hurt you. There's nothing to be afraid of. This is a friendly universe. And it wants to help you have a good life. It's conspiring to give you a good life. That's why all these lessons keep coming up. This is why all these opportunities keep coming up for you to learn and grow and get better at this projection machine for consciousness reflecting back to you something beautiful. Life is in service to your awakening. And this universe wants to help you. Help you. Really wants to help you. Just close your eyes for a moment and just imagine, imagine, imagine that actually there's all this help around you. All these beings standing around you, this whole self standing around you, wanting to see you do well. Like a parent who really, 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 really loves you. Loves you, loves you. Just imagine this, that you are so supported, that you are so encouraged to create a beautiful life, beautiful life. and that there's all these helping hands trying to help make it happen for you. Really, just imagine what this feels like in your body for a moment, because this is how it really is. This is how it really is. Believe it or not. Better to believe it than not, because believing it is part of the equation of it happening that way. <laughs> That's the cosmic joke. If you don't believe it, then you are going to be right. That the universe is not a friendly place. That there's all this tragedy just waiting around the corner for you if this is what you believe. Because remember, this is a consciousness projection machine. It is a machine. It does not care what you create. This reality is just there to show you. It's reflecting what's on the inside, what your inner landscape looks like. Do you hate yourself? Then the reflection is going to be that. Do you love yourself? Then the reflection is going to be that. Do you disrespect yourself or do you respect yourself? Do you take care of yourself? Do you not take care of yourself? This is what's going to be reflected back to you because what you project, what you feel, what you believe, this is what is reflected back. However, behind the scenes, it's almost like there's a man behind the curtain, curtain that we might call God's self, this one self that we're all part of. It is sort of like there's a, a being behind this, this whole learning experience rooting for you and saying, okay, I hope he gets it this time. I hope she gets it this time. Oh, oh, missed the mark. Okay, let's try again. Here we go, here we go. Cheering for you. Cheering you on. Really, there are beings who are helping you. There is this energy of the universe that is helping itself. This God being wants to see itself do well wants to see itself grow quickly so it doesn't have to keep repeating the lessons. This God self wants to have a good life, wants to see itself be able to create that. And it's learning how to create that through you. And so, really, start seeing the universe as a friendly entity that wants to help you have a good life. Then, okay, you want this desire? You want to create this? All right. Imagine all this support and all this help there for you as you do this. Really, 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 it makes a big difference if you see it this way and if you feel this. Because sort of the way I explained in another video, the gratitude attitude creates a really beautiful reality. Well, if you believe that this is a friendly universe and that this is a reality that's here to help you, then 
you actually open the doors to that being able to happen more readily and more easily, more solidly. solidly. Don't live in the future, that's called anxiety. Don't live in the past, that's called depression. Live right here in the now, knowing that you are being supported in whatever it is you're trying to create in this moment. And of course, yes, you set the tone for the future by what you're creating in this moment. So create well, young grasshopper. Make wise choices. Wise choices. And what you want to project into this machine that's reflecting back to you. It really is just this mirror reflecting back what's in your inner landscape. And I have another video about how it's not all just an exact mirror. It isn't actually just an exact mirror. If I do this bad thing, or I feel this bad thing, that's what's being reflected back to me. There's a whole bunch of other laws in effect besides the law of attraction, which we're gonna get into later, or in another video. Just look for, I don't know. I think the title of it will be, uh, <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> and so, don't let yourself fall into this trap of it not being a friendly universe, that it's all out to get you, and woe is me, I'm just like, I have bad luck and it's just gonna be that way this whole lifetime and there's no hope for me and maybe I'm just never gonna be happy and don't go there, don't go there. Because otherwise you're gonna create that. Create that. Create that. It really is a reflection machine. It really is a, a projection screen. I'm not saying that all reflection is exactly what's on the inner landscape because, for instance, maybe on the inner landscape you want to be in a leadership position. In that position, you're going to be challenged to learn how to be tolerant and compassionate toward those who would otherwise be ugly toward you. So just because they're being ugly toward you doesn't mean that you're ugly inside. It means that you're trying to grow and become more masterful. And so you've sent this intention to this projection machine. All right. I need to become a more evolved person in order to be in a leadership position. And so the machine conspires to make you a better leader by giving you these challenges. So it's a very tricky mirror, shall we say. It, it's a mirror, but in a way it's not also. Gosh, how do I say this? Because this is such a paradox. It mirrors what you want to, what you need to learn in that moment. It mirrors what you need to overcome in that moment, what you need to, exp what skills you need to expand. It mirrors where your growth is at. So don't live in anxiety anymore. You don't have to live in anxiety anymore. You don't have to live with despair anymore. You're actually being supported. Life is actually supporting you. Life is a ruthless teacher. It's a tough teacher, yes. Yes. But that doesn't mean that life isn't trying to help you. That this reality, that the energy in this world, that this energy in your life, this energy around you, that it's not trying to help you. Help you. So try to see this as help. When these challenges come, see this as support. See this as help. See this as, hmm, okay, this person needs to, wants to create that. And so therefore they need to develop this skill or they need to develop this ability, this more masterful way of handling these kind of people or these kind of situations. Hmm, this person wants to create that. And so we have to send them these challenges in order for them to be able to handle those challenges, which are much bigger challenges. So we're gonna send them the little So this is the way this reality works. It's like a creative teacher. teacher. And it's trying to help you have a good life. It's not trying to beat you down. Take each experience, especially the challenging ones and the people who upset you, take that as a chance to learn the lesson once and for all. And then you'll be able to experience the more pretty sides of life if you don't have to keep relearning the same lessons over and over and over again. So use all these opportunities as an as a challenge to growth, a opportunity toward growth, so that you can experience the universe as being a friendly universe. Even the really hard challenges, even the ones that just break you, these are opportunities. 
Look at these as helpful opportunities to grow. Helpful opportunities to become more masterful as a human being. The universe is trying to help you. It's all in how you look at it, as to whether it's a friendly universe or an unfriendly universe. Pick the previous one, then it's a friendly universe trying to help you. And then you're going to have a much better experience with everything that happens around you and a much better possibility for learning your lessons the first time instead of having to continue to relearn them. That's a friendly universe. Even the challenges are gifts. Look at all the challenges in your life as a gift, a, an opportunity, a, a chance to grow, to grow. And then with this different perspective, you're going to find that life is much different and you move through your lessons quicker. The universe is a friendly entity that is trying to give you the chance to become your fullest potential. I promise. I promise.